In this video, we're going to look at a question that comes up all the time in nuclear physics, looking at the closest uh, approach of two nuclei, or equally the distance uh, between two nuclei when they can undergo fusion. So pause the video now and try both parts of this question. So in part A, we have two helium nuclei, which are moving towards each other. And we want to know how much kinetic energy they need to get to a certain distance. So what we need to do here is we need to equate uh, the energy of the nuclei with the electrostatic um, energy effectively uh, between them due to the electrostatic repulsion. So what we need to realize is that the electric potential between the two charges varies according to this formula. But this on its own, we can't equate this to potential energy. We can't equate this, sorry, we can't equate this to kinetic energy because this is the electrical potential. It is not the kinetic energy. So what we need to do is we need to use our relationship between the electrical potential energy and the electrical potential, which is given by this relationship here. Now, if you're not sure where this comes from, just think about what we know from electricity. So we know that potential difference in electricity is the work done per unit charge. OK, so we're quite happy with the idea that this is potential difference in electricity. You know, what is the potential across a battery, for example? We're happy that it requires us transferring some energy to the electrons in order to make the charges move. So it's exactly the same here. We have to transfer some energy to the charges in order to make them move. And the difference between their electrical potential at two points is given by the, this formula rearranged and is also given by this formula here. So this tells you how it varies over distance. And this tells you how it varies purely with these quantities, charge, energy and potential. So if we equate the two, then we end up with Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R equals E over Q. So now we end up with electrical uh, potential energy is Q squared or charge one, charge two over four pi epsilon naught R. And now we can answer this question. So the charges on the two um, helium nuclei is obviously two lots of the charge on an electron. And then we're obviously going to square that because we've got one charge times by the other and they're identical. And then over 4 pi epsilon naught times by the radius, 3.5 times 10 to the minus 15 meters. And if we type that into our calculator, we get our answer was 2.63 times 10 to the minus 13 joules. OK, so it's a tiny amount, but obviously these nuclei have a tiny mass. So in relation to the size of them, it's quite a lot of energy. In part B, we're asked to find the temperature that this relates to. So how much kinetic energy will one nuclei or one nucleus have? It will obviously have the total kinetic energy divided by two, uh, because our questions told us to assume that. So that's going to be what 1.315 times 10 to the minus 13 joules. And then what is our relationship between energy and temperature? It's given by this relationship here. So this is the Boltzmann constant. This is the temperature in Kelvin, and this is the energy, which is this here. So if we plug in our numbers, we get our answer of one, uh, sorry, 6.4 times 10 to the 9 Kelvin. So obviously a massively high temperature, but of course we would expect that in order for fusion to occur.